come to because the challenge is, is conceptualization. You don't see yourself properly. Mm -hmm. And this is what making the mess, you know. I was saying this to my wife as we were coming down, you know. I, um, when I was young, I loved this world. And it was, you know, what I loved about the world was the girls and place and money and food and car. Now I'll tell you, if I, if the father said, come home today, I said, thank you, Jesus. I don't enjoy this world anymore. And I'm going to tell you why I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy being in this planet. I'm here strictly on duty. Because the things we are supposed to do, we're not doing. And, and if I enjoy, this is why the Bible says, anyone who loves this world is an enemy of mine. Mm -hmm. Because if you love the world, you're telling God this. It's exactly the way we made it. Mm -hmm. And it's far from the way we made it. And I'll give you an example. I was talking to my wife. This is why if someone was to me, was to die today, I said, thank you, Jesus. I'm out of here. Because it's hard to live watching the world that my father made and, and how we carry on. Mm -hmm. You know, Dr. Mal said, there's three kind of people in this world. The few that are trying to make things better. The many who just watch it, they know what's going on, but they don't do anything about it. They go, oh, the few will fix it. And the vast majority who is clueless to what, what, what's going on. These are the three groups. There are a few who see the problem, whether it's school problem, educational problem, health problem, children problem. You understand? They see and they try. They work hard. They, kill, they typically kill themselves trying to fix it. You understand? There are the many. They see it. They go, yeah, now you know the world is full of us. What can I do about it? Or Courtney will fix it. And then there's the majority. They are clueless. They don't even know what day it is. Mm -hmm. What week, what month, which planet they're living on. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are the three schools. And as was coming, you know, the Spirit of the Lord was saying to me, man has become so complacent and so lost. His spirit, remember, we, our God is a spirit. And he take his own spirit. Imagine seeming as this awesome tale. And he take these skills of his and put it into Jessica. Our spirit, many of us, does not function the way a spirit mm -hmm. functions. And I'll show you what it's supposed to do in one second. Our soul, which is supposed to reflect all the attributes of the spirit, reflecting everything else but the spirit, it's dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Our body, that's supposed to be the temple, you understand? This awesome is like, like a Lexus. The awesome engine, mm -hmm. you understand, is reflective to in the awesome what? Body. You know, Mitsubishi makes a car, they say, 10 year, I guarantee you, no rust, no nothing. 10 year, I guarantee none of the, 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 the engine and the body, what? Matches up. Warranty. This awesome body is supposed to reflect the awesome spirits and states of soul. We let it all kind of thing lives in it. Disease, sickness, demons, any, just about anything can pull up and take residence. You understand? The, the place we were put in, call home, the hurt, we are supposed to take care. It's a disaster. We are destroying it. We let all kind of force come and we destroy it. And here's the, here's the worst thing. We're happy in it. Mm. And this is what God has the problem with. You see, your spirit is not functioning. Your soul is not functioning. Your body is contaminated. Your, your vast resources is des desecration. You go, and you are happy. You don't have a problem with it. It's okay with you. This is the problem with the world. When you become wake awake, this is what you struggle with. This is what, what is it I'm going to be happy with in the world? What, the dysfunctional spirit? The lost soul? The contaminated, infested bodies? The desecration of the hurt? So what is it? Which one am I happy about? There's only one reason I can smile and stay happy. I have a hope that through Jesus, every spirit shall return and be redeemed to its original intent. Every soul shall reflect that which it was created to reflect, the true spirit. Everybody shall be holy as God intended. Mm -hmm. And this vast resource shall be used in the service of God as it intended. If I didn't have that mindset, I'd probably kill myself. Do you understand this? And this is why God said, when you are loving all the craziness, the dysfunctional soul, spirit, body, and he goes, you can't be in my image. The way I made you, you can't. And he goes, the scripture will guarantee, oh, we guarantee, you're not supposed, that's not supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. But the reason that happened, you're either among the men who goes, okay, so I see it. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Or you're among the majority who is what? Don't know what day it is. Or you are the few like myself and some of you killing yourself to try to make it what? Better. We go, we'll try to get as many spirit as we could fix. We'll try to get as many soul to reflect the appropriate image. We'll try to get as many body to become holy as it intended. We'll try to get as many, you understand, position in this world to use their resource for the kingdom of God and for humanity. That is our work. This is called our spiritual what? Work work. The Bible says, keep yourself from getting what? Contaminated. True religion. He said, make sure you don't lose those three things. Spirit must be up. 
so, soul reflective, body holy, use your resource. You understand? You got to make sure you don't lose this state. This is true religion. Don't get contaminated and help as many as what? Well. You, you could. Mm -hmm. This is our game. Every day we have one game. Every day. The Bible said this, and to guarantee this game, God said this in the book of. But the spirit, amen? Mm -hmm. But the spirit man tries all things. He examines, investigates, inquires into, questions, and discerns all things. Say, I have a spirit. I have a spirit. It is a spirit man. It is a spirit man. It has the ability to try all things. To try all things. Examine all things. Examine all things. Investigate all things. Investigate all things. Inquire into everything. Inquire into everything. Question it. Question it. And discern. And discern. All things. All things. Let me continue. It went on to say, yet is himself to be put on trial and judged by no one. He can read the meaning of everything, but no one can properly discern or appraise or get an insight into him. The spirit God gives you, when you deal with all situations, circumstances, and conditions, it allows you to inquire into everything. Get insight. Understand what it's made for, where it should go, when it should be. This is the spirit he gives you. But he allows nothing to see what? Into your spirit. This is the gift Jesus gives you. I am going to give you, everything is all over the place. You can say that I've turned the world upside down. But I'm going to give you a spirit that you're going to be able to examine it and go, mm -hmm. no, that's out of place. This meant for here. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you understand? You be, this is what's called the master build. The master builder walks into the church and go, okay, stop, 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 stop. This belongs here. This be and you put things back in what? Order. Because yes. God is a God of peace and order. Yes. The secret of chaos is move things out of their what? Place. Displacement. Make displacement. Mm -hmm. Make the dog act like the horse. Make the human being act like an elephant. It's just madness. But God said, I'll give you a spirit to discern where it goes, to investigate where it should go, to inquire both unto God and into the thing and yourself. That's the spirit you have. It's called the spirit of a man. That's what God gave you. That's the spirit of Jesus. Jesus could look at a thing and go, that's wrong. The temple is not right. It should be this way. Mm -hmm. You have that spirit. Verse 16, I have to say, for who has known or understood the mind, the counsel, and the purposes of the Lord, so as to guide and instruct him and give him knowledge. But we have the mind of Christ, the Messiah, and do hold the thoughts, the feeling, and the purposes of his heart. So after God gives you a spirit that can do all of this, he goes, from the spirit in your soul, I'm going to put my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Notice the scripture. We have the thoughts, the feeling, and the purposes of God. The reason God gives you His Spirit to look in and to know everything and to look into Him is also to give you His thoughts, mm -hmm. His feelings, and His purposes. Mm -hmm. The reason we don't have an issue with the world is because we are lacking what? His thoughts, His feelings, His purposes. Mm -hmm. Purposes, you understand? When you say His heart, God's heart have a position or a disposition. Mm -hmm. The disposition is for chaos. Mm -hmm. Everything should be in a state of what? Peace and order. So he gives you a spirit to look in and go, look, that's not right. So we are consistently, you are supposed to maintain in a state of peace and order and consistently bringing the things around you up in that state. Mm -hmm. that, this process, the Bible referred to that ability to do this as the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. A mind of Christ is a mind filled with the thoughts of God, the feelings of God, and the purposes of God. It, complete focus and reliance is like getting thoughts from God. This is why the spirit inquires. It's constantly inquiring from God. Based on what is dealing with, here's a situation. What is your thoughts or your decree for this situation? What is your feeling? What position? What's your position or disposition on this matter? This is what goes on all day. This is what's supposed to occupy it. This is what I call the hands of God upon you. That when, when something is not right, you'll feel this, these kind of thoughts flow into you. And these kind of feelings. And this kind of purposes. He has a, he will never stop be happy until all of it come back to the way it was, the way it used to be. And it's like the song, William MacDelpe. The problem is, many of us are willing to go back to the spirit we had before we get the spirit, the spirit that can't inquire, mm. the spirit that cannot discern, mm. the spirit that cannot investigate, mm. the spirit that cannot look into things. Mm. And we're willing to go back to the mind that is not the thoughts of what? God, not the feelings of God, not the purposes. You always have thoughts, feeling, and purpose. The question is what? Who's? Who's? I love this song. 
Because the problem is, every Christian that has been called, the problem is, the Bible calls it backslide, they're going what? Back. back. What's back? Back is simple. I'm coming out of the spirit, the discerning spirit. I'm coming out of the thoughts, out of the feeling, and out of what? The action. Mm -hmm. The action. I am begging you this morning, you can't go back. You can't go back because I'm going to tell you a secret. You're among the few. Mm -hmm. Remember, three groups. Mm -hmm. The few that are trying to make things, there. The many that are watching it all take place. And the majority that don't even know they have a spirit, soul, body, or the outer resource should be used. You are among the few. The Bible said many will be called, but most will go back. But only few will be what? Chosen. Chosen. Only few will choose to go. I only want the thoughts of God. I only want the feelings of God. Believe me, God have a feeling towards what? Everything. He has a particular thoughts towards everything. And he has a purpose or purposes towards everything. everything. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul said it this way. I want you to understand who you are. Paul put it this way. In, in this same 1 Corinthians chapter 3, they were arguing who is the better teacher. And Paul said it. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cyphus, which was Peter, or the universe, I don't care where you're going from, or life, or death, or the immediate and threatening present, or the subsequent, subsequential, amen, and uncertain future. All are yours. So I'm reading off, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 22. So he said, I don't care whether it's in the immediate, the threatening present, you understand? The subsequential, uncertain future, all are yours. But listen to what he said. You have to deal with it all. He said, and you are Christ, and Christ is God. You know what is the Christ? There's the Christ, the one who has to do everything. And he's making that all of us into him. Paul said, and you are the Christ. Mm -hmm. What is the Christ? If I come to you and I go, you are the Christ, and you are the Christ, and you are the Christ. What does that mean? It means you have the spirit. If not, you're not the Christ. The spirit that can what? Discern, investigate, inquire, insight. Look into all things, and nothing can look into you. you. If you know Jesus, they keep going, how do you do these things? They keep looking at him, trying to figure out how he does it. Does it. You understand? This is the first part of the Christ. And the second part, you understand? It means you have the thoughts of God, the feelings of God, and all of your disposition are in the purposes. This is why Paul can go... And you are the Christ. And Christ is God. How could Christ be God? Because Christ has God. Spirit. God thought. God feelings. And God purposes. So he's acting exactly like God. This is why he tells Philip. You go, you go, Philip, you can't do this though. If God is the only one who can think this way. Feel this way and act this way. And I am doing it all. What am I? You get, if you see me, don't you see God? Do you understand? I am telling you, what the church is going to get called on, are you the Christ? And the reason if you're, you can get catch and you're not the Christ, it is because you went back. You will not be able to go to God, you did not give me the spirit, and you did not give me the money. I want to encourage you as you're worshiping. You said, close in one song, you can't go back. Thank him for the spirit. When you get some time, go back and read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15 and 16. Meditate. Get that scripture in your being. And then ask him for the mind that correlate or correspond with the spirit. There's a point you come, my mind is locked into that spirit. When your mind gets into it, you will understand what God is thinking all the time. You'll understand what God feels all the time. You'll understand God's purposes for a person, a thing, or a situation, what? All the time. This is called living as the Christ. You understand? He's called the Messiah. The, the Christ are constantly fixing. All Jesus did is take himself. God took himself and put it into Christ. Christ took himself and put it into what? All of us. This is why Paul said in, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6, Paul said this, Paul, are you guys alone, Christ? Aren't we too? He go, are you, y'all are going on, you guys got a spirit, you guys got the touch, you got a feeling, and what happened to me? 
Am I missing it? You go, you go, look at me. What do you see? This is why Jesus said, okay, if you can't understand how this process works, look at the works. Are these thoughts God's thoughts? Go read the Bible. Are these feelings God to feelings? Are these purposes God's purpose? You will always know God's purposes. You're constantly think, thinking about glorifying Him. You're constantly feeling, you understand, the things that He feels towards His people and His creation. You're constantly, you understand, working for His kingdom and the glorification all the time. It's all, everything you do, your kind of thoughts kind of flow this way. How does this glorify God? How does this help the people? How does this help me to release the Christ? It becomes a simple process. It become, you become effective. You start great insight. And it's sad, but you then enter where you should be among the what? Few. Mm -hmm. Among the few. This was heavy on me as I'm coming down and as I walk into the world. We don't even glorify you, forgive us. We're now walking in the spirit that we have. Why? What does it mean not to walk in it? It means my mind is not being influenced by what? The spirit thoughts, spirit feelings, spirit purposes. My mind has been influenced by something else, the world, my friends, my family, my community, some other craziness I have going on up there. I'm worse. I'm happy about it. I get you might be not able to bring your mind inside into the spirit or pray to God. I don't care when you look for him outside or inside. But the challenge I have, and I sure God had with me for a long time, we're happy about it. We kind of go like this, Pastor George, my big brother. Do you see I got the spirit? Do you notice not one of his thoughts get into my head? Do you notice I have none of his feeling as his disposition of the chaos and the lawlessness? <laughs> I'm loving it! He probably, this is how a man can sing, like Moses. He probably just wants to slap me in the head and just whack me one. And this is our problem. This is our problem. You understand this? We need a new standard and a new way of processing events. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. You have the spirit. The problem is we go back. When I hear this song, it makes my heart weep. Mm -hmm. I can't go back. Mm -hmm. What am I going to go back to? A dead spirit? Mm -hmm. Dysfunctional soul? Mm -hmm. Infested body? Destroying my resource? Mm -hmm. Hurting myself, hurting my kingdom, hurting my, my brothers and sisters. That's what I want to go back to. I don't know, but you, I can't do it. No, no, no. If I can't glorify God, if I can't reflect Jesus, the Christ, if I can't keep his body as a temple and I can't use the resource, I said a same prayer every so often to my father, take me home. Mm -hmm. Don't let me be the disgrace of our kingdom. If I'm that much of a disaster, let me, let me transition up. Somebody can take my step. Give somebody that will bring glory to our kingdom. Mm -hmm. let, I have enough sense to go if I'm so brutal. You understand? Let me stop destroying our own kingdom. Does this make sense? Yeah. Can we don't go back this morning? The reason many of us, you know when people go, I can't hear God, I can't see God. You know why? You're using which? You're out, not the spirit that he gives you. It's like a binoculars you have to use. You must so you can't see him. Yeah. Or you're using the mind that is not in corresponding or correlated with the spirit. Mm -hmm. When you realize I've received the same spirit that was in Jesus, the spirit of insight, the spirit of investigation, the spirit to inquire, the spirit to discern. And this spirit fills my mind with the thoughts of God and the feelings of God and the purposes of God. And if you've got faith in this, you can feel the shift. Immediately, if you want to know anything about God, you can see into God and you can see into dealing with the situation. Mm -hmm. This becomes the process. Everything you meet, then you just go, Father, show me your will for this situation. Mm -hmm. Father, show me how you want your kingdom. Immediately, the thoughts come in, the feelings come in. This is wonderful relationship. This is called communion. Communion, my spirit that I've received from God. I'm operate, the Christ operates in communion all the time. Mm -hmm. That soul is supposed to reflect thought, feelings, mm -hmm. you understand? And purposes, positions. Mm -hmm. The body carries it out. And the body makes sure, you are supposed to make sure, nothing else take the body. It's your responsibility. Guard it. Nothing dominate the feelings. No other thought possess the mind. And you're not distracted by any other purposes. Mm -hmm. This becomes the process.